She bullied her way to the top. But is this mom just using her plus eight to strike it rich? If you don't think berating her kids and her ex was enough, here's why no one's left on Team Kate. After getting to know Kate Goslin as a single parent to her little posse of kids, fans were shocked during season six of Kate Plus Eight when it appeared the gang had dwindled to seven. One of the sex tablets, Colin, was home one day and the following week he was gone. Questions surrounding his whereabouts swirled, and Kate swooped in, telling people, Colin has special needs. There's a fairly fluid diagnosis of what those needs are, but he needs to learn certain strategies to help him deal with things. Our entire family has been impacted. It was not even really a choice. It was uh, on the advice of his uh, doctors. While Kate could justify why Colin was no longer living at home, she had a tougher time explaining why he was left out of the family's ski trip that season. Whether Kate made the right move by seeking treatment for her son or a serious misstep by excluding him from family bonding time, some fans found the situation shady and sad. All parents who bust their butts to provide for their kids should be applauded, Kate Goslin included. But that being said, not all single parents have the same resources as she does, nor are they grinding it out on an equal playing field. This is the thanks I get. Thanks, Mom, for our party. Have some stinky socks. Kate caught some heat when she sat down with Meredith Vieira and spun her tale of single mom struggles detailing her pain and balancing her stint on Dancing with the Stars with quality kid time. She explained, I've got to work harder now than ever because I'm a single mom. I would rather be at home with them. I have to work. I have to provide for them. And it's a struggle that every working mom, especially single moms, go through. Viewers immediately took issue with Kate acting like she's scraping by on minimum wage and trying to align herself with single parents everywhere. Kate and company reportedly earned $50,000 per taping of their show. On top of this, there were New York Times best-selling books, spin-off TV shows and appearances, speaking engagements, and a short-lived stint with Coupon Cabin. Not too shabby. Celebrity splits are nothing new, but Kate and John Goslin's divorce hit a whole new level. Their messy breakup played out in the media, with the saddest part being that their children got caught up in the middle of it. Their split fired up rumors of affairs on both sides, finger-pointing at bad behavior, and accusations of only being in it for the fame. I think her motives are fame, money, and those have always been her motives, and getting herself back on TV. Over a decade after their breakup, the former spouses still can't stop hurling accusations. Following an incident between John and their son Colin, Kate told People, I am done hiding and will say this unequivocally. John is a violent and abusive person. Reps for John denied the claims. Of course, John had something to say about Kate as well, telling E.T., I've put Colin in school. I've walked him through everything. He's got a job, stuff like that. And Kate hasn't talked to him in five years. I mean, Kate didn't show up for his custody battle when they awarded me sole legal and physical custody. Well, I find it interesting that she's so concerned about a child she doesn't even talk to. Years after their divorce, Kate is still accusing John of being a bad dad. When twins Kara and Maddie turned 18 in 2019, Kate took to Instagram to share her joy in the girls' successes. Except, she also threw in a few digs that appear to have been aimed at John, writing, I don't apologize for my tears. Times have been so tough and so needlessly unfair for them. Despite it all, they've turned out to be such wonderful, amazing human beings. I cannot wait to see what lies ahead for each of them once they get away from those who have tried to destroy them versus protect them. Even if John didn't destroy the twins, he isn't exactly winning dad of the year. In 2016, Maddie told People, He makes it seem like we're being kept from him, which is insane. He should maybe spend some time thinking about why we don't want to see him and maybe realize that if he ever does want a relationship with us, talking about us on TV is not the way to make that happen. For much of her children's lives, Kate has taken on the role of primary parent, and it's no surprise that she runs a tight ship. But if you ask John about his ex's parenting, calling it strict is putting it lightly. He describes her methods as downright militant, claiming Kate created a home where next-level tasks and chores were expected of the kids. John told the Daily Mail, I understand trying to teach discipline, but they can't even be kids. But not only were John and the kids living under Kate's alleged tyrannical rule, the household help got caught up in the fury as well. In 2014, a former nanny told E! News, We always had to refer to the manual, because it listed her pet peeves. You couldn't put anything on the ground. 
You had to put shoes in a certain spot. You couldn't close doors loudly. You could only vacuum during certain times of the day if she was home. Still, Kate brushed it all off, telling Good Morning America in 2016, I've been investigated many times. It's always unfounded, obviously. Kate probably won't be walking away with the Best Boss Award in this lifetime. Back when her kids were toddlers, she sure wasn't making friends with the staff she and John employed to help them out. It was reported that, at the time, Kate fired roughly 40 nurses and aides within the span of just a few months. One baby nurse worked for the Goslins for about a year and claimed that no one was good enough for Mama Kate. She revealed to Us Weekly that Kate reportedly had unrealistic expectations for staff, a critical personality, and that she insisted on unattainable levels of perfection at all times. But while holding on to staff has been one struggle for Kate, it seems that paying them might be yet another. In 2019, a former employee filed a complaint against the reality star claiming she was owed more than $55,000. The case was ultimately dropped just weeks before its court date. Juggling eight young kids and a messy public divorce is a tall order for anyone, and you might guess that Kate would have leaned on loved ones for support. But in her case, she seemingly isn't tight with family. Her father passed away in 2021, but even before then, Kate was reportedly estranged from him and her mother. She also reportedly kept her distance from her sister Kendra, who told the Daily Mail, Kate does not speak to her family at all. It is very painful. I guess we weren't totally on board with what was going on with the kids. I guess we weren't excited enough for her and were concerned about her family. Kate has also carved out a divide between herself and two of her own children. Hannah and Colin have chosen to live with Dad John because they feel a stronger connection to him. Hannah told E.T. And I just feel like there was unfair treatment in my mom's house. Claiming that she does reach out to her mom even though they don't live together, Hannah added, We text each other and call each other on like an average basis. Kate has aired her kids' lives on TV for years, and she knows better than most that when putting minors to work, legal paperwork has to be in order. But in 2019, TLC filmed four of the Goslin kids for a special without valid work permits. Add to that the fact that John didn't want the kids appearing on the show at all. As a result, Kate was held in contempt of court. The reality star also had to fork over $1,500 to her ex, who was supposed to have received a filming schedule for their children per legal agreements. He never got that contract. John told Daily Mail TV, The Guardian said filming wasn't in the best interests of my children. The judge said it wasn't in their best interests, but Kate went ahead and did it anyway. Houston, we've got a problem. The legal and financial ramifications for defying court orders were hefty. But what occurred afterward was an even greater blow to Kate's reality empire. After 10 years with TLC, the network and reality star were done. Kate revealed that because of her court violation, she had been let go from the network that had been her bread and butter for years. The loss of her TLC contract didn't help Kate's financial woes, which have reportedly compounded as opportunities dwindled. If you ask John Goslin about his former partner's goals and intentions, he would likely tell you that Kate is nothing if not self-involved. As John revealed to Daily Mail TV, Kate is not doing the shows for her family. Kate is doing it for herself. She's narcissistic and selfish. That's it, period. All of this is for her. Kate plus eight, Kate plus date. It's her name first. He then took his claims a step further, telling the Dr. Oz show, All she wanted was legal custody to film my kids to sustain her lifestyle and their lifestyle. See, it, it gets all warped. John also alleged that Kate only accused him of hurting their son Colin because of the scandalous headlines it would create, adding, She wants to be famous. She suffers from narcissistic personality disorder. She always wants to put herself back in the press. Guess we can only wait and see if this reality star ever gets her dream spinoff Kate plus Kate when the kids move out.